commissioned in 1943, the USS Lexington served the United States longer than any other carrier in naval aviation history. October 29, 1989. The Lexington is on a training exercise in the Gulf of Mexico. A student pilot flying a T-2 Buckeye jet approaches the flight deck. As two pilots, also in Buckeyes, wait to take off. This is the young aviator's first attempt at a touch-and-go landing. Conditions today are ideal. a relatively slow and precise speed. But according to one observer, the Buckeye is flying too low and too slow. The pilot's last-ditch attempt to raise the nose of the plane causes it to flip over. The airplane's left wing strikes the carrier below the flight control tower. Just before impact, the canopy detaches from the cockpit suggesting the pilot try to eject. The plane collides with several other aircraft and explodes. As the plane and fuselage skids into the two pilots waiting to take off, both blow their cockpit canopy. Moments later, the men climb out to safety. The crew has the first fire hose in operation after just 11 seconds. Within 15 minutes, they've completely extinguished the fire. The USS Lexington suffers no significant damage. The T-2 Buckeye is completely destroyed. 19 people are injured, one critical. The tragic accident claims five lives, including that of a young pilot. By the time the USS Lexington is decommissioned in 1991, its flight deck sees nearly one-half million successful landings.